All right, today I'm going to give you guys a detailed look at this uh, Book of Boba Fett figure by SH Figure Art. This is uh, Boba Fett with the throne, and um, here's the box. The box is uh, pretty thick, actually. Uh, let's get into it. And here's everything outside of packaging, and uh, here you can see Boba Fett on the throne uh, with the helmet over there, with the head sculpt there, and then the uh, backpack is right there. And then as far as the rest of the accessories is concerned, we have... We have a head sculpt right here. The second head sculpt that he comes with. Right there. And then uh, we have other accessories. We have uh, firing effect pieces, booster. And then uh, another uh, rocket. And we have a uh, pistol and the holster. And then his staff, his rifle, and uh, other hands that are available to him. So that's quite a lot uh, for this set here. But let's take a look at uh, a closer look at uh, Boba while he's on the throne, and here he is. And before I go into it any further, here's uh, what uh, Mandalorian looks like next to him. These are both uh, Asic Chef. And here's how tall Boba is standing next to Mandalorian. Why is it not focusing? There we go. There we go. That's how tall he is uh, without the helmet. And here's how tall he is with the helmet on. So let's take a closer look at the Boba Fett. So here is what Boba looks like. from the front and here is from the side and from the back one thing I want to mention is that these tubes these tubes right here uh, they are a little bit too short so uh, he can't really bend his elbow that well uh, with these uh, with these uh, tubings on, uh, which is a shame because uh, you would think he'll be able to bend his elbow at least 90 degrees, which he cannot with these uh, tubings. All right, so let me go over articulation uh, while I have him. Let me focus in on it a little bit more. Uh, head does look a little too too long. I mean, the neck is a little too long uh, for this figure. Uh, eventually, I'm probably gonna do a mod. Um, what I was thinking is that initially, I was thinking of uh, pushing this, pushing this piece, oh god, uh, pushing this piece back, because the socket, uh, if it was deeper down, I think it would work. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to remove this. Uh, so what I what I was thinking is that. I could just drill completely through this piece. This is a soft, uh, softer type of rubber. Uh, so if I drilled it all the way through, then I should be able to push this uh, peg, this uh, ball peg, all the way through. So it will lower down his neck. It will shorten his neck a little bit that way. Uh, so it will sunk in a little bit more. So maybe it will fit him a little bit better. Because right now with it on, you could totally see his neck is a little too long for this figure here okay you can see it, it looks quite unnaturally long uh, even with the scarf there uh, yeah, and also eventually I think I will just replace this whole piece with the actual cloth because uh, that way it will sit better and uh, if I push the head the helmet down a little bit then it will even it will be even nicer but uh, I, I kind of get why they make the head a little uh, with the longer neck because it does give him a little more range, especially when he's sitting on the throne. Uh, it'll help with the uh, articulation a little bit better when he's sitting. Uh, when he's looking towards the side or something, it'll give him a little more room to work with. But right now, if he's standing, his neck does look a little too long. But uh, as far as the rest of them, uh, there's a uh, butterfly joint right here. I can swing out, rotate, and then uh, same thing. There's a ball hinge right there for the shoulders. And then, of course, bicep, there is a swivel joint right there. And then the elbows also has a 
Wait, let me see. Is there a swivel? Yeah, there is a swivel on the bicep, and then there's also a, a single uh, ball hinge joint right here. So it does give him a little more room to work with. You can rotate as well, and then wrist is on a ball hinge joint as well. And then, uh, as I mentioned earlier, this uh, this arm right here. You can see if I bend his elbow. Uh, you can see this is uh, pull, been pulled together and pulled in so uh, it does limit the range he has but if you rotate him a little bit eh, just nudge it a little bit more you can get him a little bit better elbow range so it's almost 90 but he cannot do 90 or anything uh, beyond that because of these uh, tubings right here and these aren't removable either so yeah that's a shame I'm just surprised they didn't make him a little longer or something uh, or make the gauntlet uh, rotatable like uh, like Hasbro uh, as a separate piece but they didn't so yeah a shame and then uh, the torso uh, there's a ball joint around the waist and that's it uh, this skirt of course is cloth which I like because uh, it helps with uh, with him sitting and then uh, you could bend his leg 90 degrees oh actually past 90 degrees all the way up like that and then uh, single jointed knee but it can give you more than 90 degrees and then there's a ball jointed uh, ankle and then there's also toes articulation so as far as articulation this figure is quite good um, overall it is a fantastic looking uh, Boba Fett and uh, I don't mind the helmet. Uh, I know some people are complaining about how small the helmet is or not wide enough. But I think in the Book of Boba, his helmet does look like this. Uh, I think it's pretty accurate to the show. Uh, if you're comparing to the uh, Episode 6 or Episode 5 helmet, of course, uh, that one is a little wider. But this one with the Book of Boba, I think... Uh, it's a correct scale and a correct size the shape is correct too in my opinion I think so I'm okay with it and uh, but uh, I know there are people who are complaining about the helmet being too small and not wide enough all right then here's the other uh, head that uh, comes with uh, this Boba Fett and uh, here's the I guess the angry look for him Uh, the eyes are a little wider on this one and uh, it's got a little more eyebrows raised and uh, overall it still looks like him uh, but the color I think is off the skin tone I think is off uh, because I think the original uh, well the character is uh, darker uh, the skin tone is uh, a little bit darker than this and uh, this one's a little lighter and in person it actually looks a little more orange than it is on camera Here's the more vanilla looking uh, head sculpt right here. I think this one is nicer. Uh, hopefully this is in focus, but uh, yeah, um, great looking head sculpt. Do manual, I can't do. There we go, I think it's more in focus now. Uh, this head sculpt looks better to me, uh, but also uh, the color is off. Uh, in person it does look a bit more orange. On camera it looks fine to me, but uh, yeah, in person it's definitely a little more orange and uh, should have been a little bit darker as well. But this is my favorite head sculpt for him. And uh, let us take a look at the throne itself. Focus that a little bit more. Um, the throne is uh, hollow, of course, and uh, the back there's a panel right here, and inside you can feel it is completely hollow, and uh, it does look nice. Uh, it does look like the uh, the chair, the throne from the show. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate it is, but to me, I think it looks fine. I never did notice that there's a hollow section right here, uh, so that's interesting. And uh, the uh, the markings back here looks nice, and then the little uh, Gamorian guard. Oh no, this is the uh, the rancor, uh, the rancor heads on here. Those are nice. I like that. And uh, yeah, not a whole lot more to say about this drone. I'm I'm just 
didn't realize how deep this tunnel is actually. So for him to be sitting, uh, I think it would look nicer if he has uh, if he has a well, one foot raise like I had it, because um, uh, it's so deep that uh, it, if he's just sitting. Uh, if you push him all the way in, his leg's not going to be touching the ground, and uh, if he's uh, up front, then uh, you're not feeling uh, there's a gap on the back. So I think uh, one race it, it looks the best for him uh, while he's uh, sitting on this throne here. And in order for him to put the backpack on, you need to remove all three of these uh, silver bits. Uh, I removed the bottom one. It's kind of hard to remove because uh, there's no tap for you to grab a hold of. So, but uh, you need to remove all three. Okay, so it pays to reread the instruction from time to time. Uh, first, <laughs> it actually tells you to remove this panel. It will be much easier <laughs> to remove these uh, three tabs now. So you could just punch them through on the back side, but here's what it looks like. Okay, so once you punch through these three pieces, you just need to attach it to the back of this. And then once you uh, attach this on here, you can attach this back on Boba, which I think. Uh, it's quite nice uh, the, the way they did it. I think it looks fine. It looks cool. Um, it, 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 yeah, it makes it uh, cooler because uh, even if you remove the, um, the jetpack, uh, you will still see his backside uh, as it should be. So that's kind of nice. Instead of uh, having three extra holes back here, you don't have that. So that's cool. And this is what it looks like with the, the jetpack on. Focus a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Really nice. And uh, I think he looks great with it on or without. And uh, here's what it looks like uh, with those uh, little bits back on. So there you go. I mean, the, honestly, they didn't have to do that, but I am happy that they did because uh, it gives it an, an extra level of detailing that uh, some of the other toy company won't give you. Uh, but you are paying the price for it and. Uh, to me, I think it's worth it. Uh, the set, uh, it's gonna set you back over a hundred bucks. I believe it was a hundred thirty, forty, somewhere around there. But to me, I think it's worth it because uh, you do get two extra head sculpts uh, of uh, of the character. And uh, granted, the helmet is uh, uh, well, the neck is a little too long. Uh, I'll have to do a, mo a little bit of modification. But uh, to me, I think the set is worth it. Uh, just because uh, you get a throne, uh, you get him sitting there nicely, and um, yeah, to me, I think it's totally worth getting. So here's one last look at Boba, how I have it all set up. So you can clearly see he's sitting on the throne, and uh, he's filling the chair nicely. With his leg raised, he's sitting very comfortably on here. And uh, I think it looks great. Uh, he looks fantastic and uh, very natural looking. And uh, his feet is planted, uh, somewhat planted on the ground. Uh, I just need to reshuffle uh, uh, re him a little bit uh, to get his foot down. But uh, here you can see he looks great. He looks menacing. Uh, he looks tough. And um, yeah, glad to, have, glad to have this set in my collection. And um, there you go. There's uh, Boba Fett with the throne uh, from SH Figure Arts. Thanks for watching.